today we are going to build an external antenna for a weather radio. Some people have problems receiving their local weather radio broadcast due to either terrain, living too far away from the transmitting tower, having their radio too close to electronic equipment which causes interference, or perhaps they have an antenna that's been damaged. Okay, first of all, let's turn this one on and see what we can get. That is uh, from Lockport, Illinois. Mostly clear in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. And that's from downtown Chicago. Anyway, that's with the antenna all the way down. Let's deploy the antenna all the way up. See what we get. All the way up. All right, all the way up. It is. Do it again. Nothing on 40. 162.40. That's channel 1. Channel 2. Mostly cloudy with rain. That's Lockport. Areas of fog. 3. Something barely far, far away. 4. Nothing. 5. Yes, a little bit. That's from LaPorte, Indiana. LaPorte, Indiana. Nothing there. And 55. At 2 p.m. at O'Hare Airport. Okay, fine. All right. Say there's a damage to the antenna. So let's hobble this radio by removing its antenna. The wind was southwest at 14 miles an hour, gusting to 24. The pressure was 29.64 inches in rising. Right, cool. Elsewhere around the region. Wow, it doesn't want to come out. Airport, it was partly sunny. All right, the there it is. It's been hobbled. It cloudy. Hobbled. At All right, Airport. still getting uh, 5.5 five five because it's a very strong station, very tall antenna. Let's see what goes on at 425. Nothing. Well, a little. Anyway, let's check that up. What we need to do is to replace the antenna. Okay. Um, you can do this by either just stripping one wire to get a length of wire that's 72 inches long for a full wavelength and just strip one end of it, this end, and wrap it around the antenna for a full wavelength of wire. You can either do that, that's simple. Most of today's weather radios, though, have an external antenna jack. See this? Right here. That's an external antenna jack. That is called a RCA female jack. RCA female. Which accepts an RCA male. Focus. RCA male. Otherwise known as a patch cord plugs right in here all right okay get a length of patch cable RCA cable you can either buy these new or what I do I go down to the Salvation Army or focus or like the Goodwill they have loads of them there cheap or you can buy them at Walmart or buy them online all right to make a proper antenna, we're going to have to take one of these connectors off. All right. Just got to cut it off. Ugh. All right. Now we have to strip it. There's two electrical connections in this. One in the center and one in the shield. Let's try to do this without harming myself. Very carefully remove the outside insulation. Carefully. Oh. Not the proper knife to do this, but there. Outside insulation. Focus. Focus on me. Alright. Anyway, very carefully remove, well, the shield. 
Take the shield away from the main conductor. Focus. All right. Remove the shield from the main conductor and twist the shield together. All right. The shield is for reception, the ground plane, a counter pose. What we're really interested in is the center conductor. This is the antenna. All right. It's the main part of the antenna. So it's a very thin wire. Carefully remove the insulation and twist the leads together. Now, what you need to do, oh my, I dropped the wire. What am I to do? Uh, get up and find it. It's all over the place. Hang on for a second. Okay, found it. Focus. All right. What we need to do now, is since we have these dovetailed, the shield, the shield, and the center conductor, what you need to do is take two lengths of wire, single strand, it does not have to be uninsulated, it doesn't have to be thick, all it has to be is metal, Two lengths of wire, 20 inches long. One length and two lengths. They don't have to be separate colors. I just used a piece of red and black twin lead. All right. Strip a little bit of the insulation off. Like that. Well, not like that, but actually remove the insulation. I'm having trouble today. Again. Ouchie. All right. Twist that like that, right? Now, let's get your patch cable and twist these. The center conductor and one of the leads of the wire together. Twist them together like that. See this? All right. And then you can take a piece of electrical tape. Doesn't have to be big. And Focus. You focused? Can't really tell. And make sure you insulate the center conductor. Do not allow the shield and the center conductor to touch each other, or the antenna won't make that much of an antenna. Now, well, all we have left is the shield. Same thing. Grab. the other piece of the wire and <clears throat> remove the insulation almost if I had the proper tools or use the proper tools done already but I'm just using normal tools I could solder this and use proper connections but a lot of people don't have soldering irons there you have these. Okay. Then we wrap this to the shield. All right. Wrap it. Wrap it together. Tighten them up. All right. Now. Now, I get a piece of electrical tape, 
or any kind of tape, any kind of insulation tape. It doesn't have to be black electrical tape. It can be scotch tape. We're not actually using any kind of voltage through this. We're just using it as a receiving antenna. All right. There you go. That's your antenna. Now. One end of, well, this is the main radiator. I am going to make a little knot into the end of the radiator, like this. And the counter pose, a knot at the end of the counter pose. The reason is, that hang on please okay the reason it is that we the reason why we put the little knots in it we can hook them to uh these little suction cups you can buy at dollar tree see this little suction cup the taller one put the uh the lead I got another suction cup down here. Come here. Wow. Amazing, huh? When you try to do something, it doesn't work. All right. You can either use suction cups, focus suction cups or you can tape it to the window anyway let's go back over here to the radio hi radio how you doing all right let's turn it back on what channel are we on 40 nothing 425 nothing Four five nothing. Four seven five nothing. Five five nothing. Or excuse me, five zero nothing. Five two five nothing. Five five of course. That's very powerful. All right, let's hook up the new antenna. With a fifty percent chance of showers. Highs in the upper fifties. Hey. <laughs> There's something where nothing was before. So now we're receiving stuff on 162.40. Another state in 162.45. That's Racine, Wisconsin. And nothing on 475. Ah, that's Laporte, Indiana. And plus another station behind it. There's two stations on one. You can hear the main one and a distant one. Eh. Anyway, this can increase your reception. It's easy to do. Anybody can do it. I'm an idiot. So I did it. You can do this. 